Gemini, welcome to your new moon in Aquarius. I hope this finds you well as this lunar energy is hitting your ninth house of, you know, beliefs, knowledge, you know, higher learning type stuff. <laughs> Long distance travel, publishing, maybe, maybe legalities for some of you, the judicial system. I do see that there's a lot of change going on for you in the 12th house, maybe having to do with very private psycho spiritual world the hidden realm dream activities oh my gosh yes <laughs> so i know it sounds a little bit obscure but that's 12th house for you all right very spiritual some of you getting some changes with your spiritual life or in the 5d happening on a very subconscious level that you yourself are not even fully aware of okay and i'm really seeing with both of these houses 9th and 12th being uh, triggered at this time that um, there's definitely a very spiritual tone to it. Let's see what the overarching theme is for you. Choosing your path. All is possible. All right. So it looks like you have a choice to make. Let me hold that up a little bit better and sit with it for a moment there. Are you armored up? Are you in the truth of Gemini? Because it looks like it's not a straightforward, easy path ahead. You can choose which direction you want to go, but either way, no matter what you choose, there's going to be challenges. There's going to be, you know, mountains, there's going to be valleys. And it's not, uh, there, there's just no easy button. So you got to, I'm hearing choose the path of your conscience. And that might be challenging. There may be people who tell you, you need to hold back. Don't do that. Don't do your path. And I feel like somebody here needs to be told that no matter what you choose, it's, there's no easy. So you might as well, if it's going to be challenging, you might as well just go with your conscience. What, what choice, what decision can you live with? And that just popped out randomly. Again, a card of making a decision and it might be, uh, you might have a sudden awareness of, aha, I need to go. This is a decision I need to make. Some of you are really re-examining choices and options. And I'm hearing like, you can do whatever you want, but you gotta, what choice can you live with? Wow, Taurus got the same card in the same position, Four of Pentacles. So some of you might be holding on to dear life uh, or holding back from, um, you know, things changing or shifting. Some of you want to hold your ground, hold on to stability. You don't want all of this, you know, randomness that frankly is up ahead. I know some of you don't want to hear that, but, um, you know, I think you want to take a leap of faith. I'm seeing a cliff on both of these cards. You see, both of these people are standing on cliffs. <laughs> like the way forward is going to involve you taking a leap of faith. But what can you put your faith in? And Aries might be relevant here, um, but I'm also seeing something about Cancer and Pisces and Pisces season, okay? And again, I'm seeing the need to take a leap of faith on something that your consciousness can live with, okay? What's supporting you? Well, some of you have been guarded, and you are guarded, and I feel rightly so, because uh, some of you have been through the ringer, okay? You've been there, done that, and you don't want to do it again, uh, <laughs> and I don't blame you, because she's uh, she's got her boundaries up, and... Usually this is the wounded warrior. I don't really see that she's wounded here, but I do feel like she's got this energy within her. Like, don't do it. Do not try me. Do not test me. Um, so something about keeping and maintaining boundaries. If you've been doing that, good. If you've been protective, resilient, good. Because this is actually supporting you. What has not, what's been blocking you, uh, you know, we've got Queen of Wands here, which could be, another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, possibly fire sign female, or, you know, sometimes this is a seductress, okay? This is somebody who is uh, very, very feisty, very much about, you know, they want their way and um, they might have their little feminine charms that they're working on you, <laughs> all right? Especially for the Gemini males, okay? Oh, I can see y'all going for that too, because air and fire, oof, oof. Don't ask me how I know I'm an Aquarian, right? But, um, yeah, I don't know. For some reason, I'm gonna, I'll find out more about that. Okay, so the unexpected that could happen for you is it might be something with the legal system or a Libra. Did I not say from the beginning there might be a legal issue? Let me find out about this Queen of 
wands. It might have to be a lot. I heard gold figure. I don't know. I don't know who that's for, but I'm something about a lot, a lot of money. Okay, it might have to do with an inheritance. I am seeing somebody is older here. Maybe something about the winter time is relevant, but could be a divorcee, widow, widower, and some decisions being made. This is showing up in the position of a blockage. Somebody may, in fact, again, there might be a divorce settlement or a an, an, an inheritance, uh, probate, legal proceeding, something to that effect. Something also about a two-year time frame. And yeah, it seems like there's been some contract or legal commitment and somebody didn't wasn't making a decision and then suddenly they might just do it. And again, I'm seeing a lot of money here on the table with this clover card and the jewelry box, okay? So suddenly justice may be served on something, okay? If this is not involving any kind of legalities, I do feel like perhaps this was a Libra or someone made a decision where it put them in some kind of commitment, if not a legal commitment, a verbal, karmic, soul tie type of commitment. And you might not have received the information about a decision being made, some, that somebody made a decision quickly. It's a wild message, honestly. Oracle card advice. And there we go. Focus and the masculine. So I didn't really see a masculine energy here. Um, I saw feminine. I mean, I see a lot of feminine, all four of these cards feminine and definitely that queen of one. Well, there's a masculine in that picture, but this is maybe about you. Notice it's like choosing your path. You're gonna have to take the lead, all right? I'm not really sure how masculine is showing up in your life, but regardless of whether or not you are a male Gemini, <laughs> this card is advising you to take a leadership role, to be the initiator, be the masculine energy and make a decision. And it might have to do with a karmic lesson, an agreement, a commitment of some kind, where somebody wasn't making a decision and then suddenly they do, and it might have to do with money, sudden windfall of money or luck visions of life beyond death, a birth guarded vigilantly. So I'm going to say this. Wow. Yeah, I did see that this is uh, you, this guarded energy that you have is actually serving you because there is a brand new start of you maybe taking a leap of faith and seeing beyond a situation where maybe somebody, they sowed some seeds and they are very focused on reaping a harvest of a new life a life beyond something where there's been some darkness. It's not going to be easy. It's going to take a lot of faith, but I really see that you have a lot ahead of you and the choices in your hands. Be blessed.